In this demonstration, we will see how Direct Relief International uses Palantir to prepare for, assess, and respond to natural disasters like Hurricane Sandy. We begin by bringing in data on social vulnerability from the University of South Carolina, and then combine it with other data sets on population density and disease prevalence. Taking these trends and other metrics, we can identify the most at-risk counties in the United States and show them on the map. We can then match these regions with the appropriate distribution partners at the beginning of the hurricane season. When a hurricane threatens the United States, the latest models of the storm path and wind swaths can be imported from NOAA. Here, we have the updated model of Hurricane Sandy shortly after landfall, and the associated floodplain probabilities, most notably affecting the New York metropolitan area. In order to determine the most critical supplies to send first, we will do a radius search in the hurricane and flood affected areas to find all the partner clinics and hospitals we work with. Once we have identified the clinics in need, we will take these entities and do some research into their shipping records. We can quickly query our database to determine what kinds of pharmaceuticals and medical supplies we have donated in the past. After auto-arranging our graph, the strength of the relationship between DRI and the partner clinics becomes obvious. We can see each donation made to each clinic. Selecting all of the donations allows us to aggregate this information and see trends in the most commonly needed drugs and high-frequency corporate donors. Each shipping record also has timestamp properties. The timeline allows us to easily see important temporal patterns such as which clinics were sent donations recently and which are in more urgent need of supplies. Last, we will focus on providing aid and situational awareness in the aftermath of a natural disaster. Here, we have imported all currently active Red Cross shelters in the area. The heat map shows the high availability shelters in blue and the low availability shelters in red. Another important resource after a hurricane are undamaged pharmacies as they are key partners for distribution of emergency medical supplies. Here, we are drilling down on all pharmacies in the Northeast. We are filtering only for the pharmacies that have listed their status as open for business and bringing them to the map. We now have a snapshot of the currently open pharmacies in Manhattan and surrounding boroughs, as well as the evacuation zones in New York City. DRI could partner with these pharmacies to distribute essential medicines in the hardest hit neighborhoods. After the floodwaters begin to subside, DRI can also use reports from the Department of Energy to monitor the patterns of electrical outages and infrastructural repair. Combining supply chain information, clinical partner metrics, as well as open source data sets, DRI can provide efficient preparations, assessment, and tactical response to natural disasters around the world.